Hey guys, welcome back to my property analysis series. For today's episode, I'll be analyzing the performance of the pallets 4 and 5 bedrooms. And just a brief introduction, the pallet is actually located near Passeries MRT and is only 6 years old. It has a total of 892 residential units, ranging from 1 bedder to 5 bedder. So out of this, there is only a combined total of 107 units of 4 bedroom, 5 bedroom as well as penthouses. Here's a detailed breakdown of it. As you can see here, a bulk of the units are either 4 bedroom or 4 bedroom dual key. There are only 10 penthouses in the palette and the last time a penthouse was transacted was in year 2018. Due to the limited available data, a huge portion of my analysis will be based on the 4-bedroom as well as the 4-bedroom dual key. I will touch on 3 key factors which have caused the main differences in price performance between the 4-bedroom and the 4-bedroom dual key. First, consumer behaviour and unit selection. Second, the timing of the sale. And third, the layout. First factor, consumer behaviour and unit selection. The palace 4 bedroom units have 4 types of facing direction. The pool, facing the other condos, facing small roads and facing highway. As buyers of such bedroom type usually purchase for own stay and has the intention to stay for a long period of time, so, I will try my best to avoid highway facing units because this will affect the resale value. Take Stack 64 and Stack 22 for example. Stack 64 faces a small road whereas Stack 22 faces the highway. Both units have the exact same layout and their sale and purchase timing are just a few days apart. However, in the resale market, the small road facing unit actually profit 249,000 more than the units that are facing the highway. That's quite a drastic difference, isn't it? Second factor, timing of sale. When the pallets first launch for sale, there are not much differences in price between four bedrooms that are facing the pool or outer facing. So it definitely makes more sense to purchase four bedrooms that's facing the pool. But interestingly, Owners of the pool-facing 4-bedroom units actually earn the least profit. The common mistake made by these owners is that they sold their property between year 2018 and 2019. During this period, Dines and Coco Palm, just TOP, and both projects have a supply of close to 400 units of 4-bedrooms. In contrast, 4-bedrooms owners of the lousier facing earn twice or even three times the margin of the pool-facing units. This is because they sold their property in recent years when the surrounding had no new supply. Essentially, it boils down to simple economic terms, your supply and demand. Now, on to the third factor, which is about the pallets layout. Pallets 4-bedroom is at 1,378 square feet, whereas the 4-bedroom dual key is at 1,399 square feet. Given that both unit types cost about the same, you would likely purchase the dual key unit because it's slightly bigger. But if you have viewed both layout in real life, you would have purchased the 4-bedroom layout instead because the living room has a wider frontage. This is also the reason why margin of the 4-bedroom is much better than the 4-bedroom dual key units. Take for example stack 30, a 4-bedroom dual key and stack 18, a 4-bedroom unit. Both units were purchased and sold about the same time. The 4-bedroom was purchased at a lower PSF but sold at a higher PSF than the dual key unit. In this instance, layout matters more than having a view because the dual key unit did have a premium facing. This is another example. Both units were sold in 2018, yet the 4-bedroom unit still managed to command a premium price over the dual key unit. In conclusion, my advice to owners of the pallet's 4-bedroom is to sell now because the market is in full bull run. If you choose to hold on to this property, your direct competitors will be Dines because Coco Palm's 4 bedroom are transacting 150000 more than yours. As for 5 bedroom and penthouse owners, there is really no hurry to sell your property. Supply of 5 bedroom and penthouses will remain very low in the upcoming years. 
as compared to the demands in the market. If we zoom in to the surrounding developments, MV Residence has only 6 units of penthouses. Dines have 30 units and Co Palm have 50 units of 5 bedroom and penthouses. There are no new supply of 5 bedroom or penthouse units in Pasir Ris 8. As for buyers who intend to purchase the Palette's 4 bedroom, I would suggest to go for the normal 4 bedroom layout instead of the dual key. No doubt dual key units do enjoy a higher rental yield, but I feel that 4 bedroom dual key units cater more to 3 bedroom buyers. The Palette's dual key units consist of a studio that has no kitchen as compared to Coco Palm, where the studio do have a kitchen. Buyers who are really in need of a 4 bedroom in this area tend to value the layout more. They are more emotional at the point of purchase because they are purchasing for own stay. They are less likely to view it from an investment perspective. That's all for my analysis for the Palette's 4 and 5 bedroom. If there is a certain project you want us to review on, do leave a comment in the section below. And if you do find our videos useful, please like and subscribe to us. I will see you soon.